What does the Ukraine crisis really mean for all of us? What is the real truth behind a lot of this stuff? Here's the real truth that we really know. There's so many different conspiracy theories and this person has their own theory and, and this station, you know, this is what they think and everything else. Well, this is what's taking place. A lot of innocent women, children, and men are all dying for what? We still never really figured out for what. Um, we have heard different things about why, you know, this is all taking place. But where's the proof in the pudding? As far as I'm concerned, a lot of this stuff is also, you know, just speculation and everything else. But we can also learn a lot of things from this different type of situation and what the situation means to us. What it means to us is, as we have seen, well, our food prices are going up and our gas prices have gone up diesel prices have gone up. Everything that we do has gone up because of this crisis and what is taking place. Now, obviously, prices and things, inflation and all that was already on the rise before this whole situation came about. But this crisis in Ukraine has meant that it has doubled a lot of things that are taking place with the inflation, with the gas and fuel prices, with the food prices, with still the shortages that are going on, but we don't hear much about that anymore. There's still ships that are setting off the coast of California. And because, let's face it, folks, with the price of diesel fuel and everything, by a lot of the comments that I've received on my channel, on some of my videos, well, it does seem like a lot of truck drivers are refusing to go into California unless they get mileage or unless they're getting paid more because the price of diesel fuel there is through the roof. So what does this really mean for us? This means we're in for a long haul. This means we're going to be paying a lot more. This means there's going to be a lot of people out there, a lot of families that are going to be hurting. Now, I also get a lot of comments and stuff where people talk about, you know, they can't uh, seem to get their family members and friends on board on prepping. And it's a very difficult thing, folks. It really is. It's, it's either you're, you're, you're on the bandwagon or you're not on the bandwagon. You know, it's one of those types of situations where you have to truly believe in your heart that you want to be prepped and ready for any type of emergency situation. You see, they all think that because of what is taking place with this whole Ukraine crisis, and what does it mean to them? Maybe to them, it doesn't mean anything. Maybe to them, they just don't care. Maybe to them, they don't understand or they don't really see what it is doing and adding to our own problems here at home. But nevertheless, you know, there's still your family members and everything else. If you have the availability to try to put away extra just on the chance that something bad does happen, an SHTF situation takes place, or any of these type of things, it would probably be a very good thing to do. Because in the end, you're going to have a very hard time turning your back on family members. If an SHTF situation ever did take place, you're not going to let them go hungry. So making sure that you have extra would be a beneficial thing to do. Now, having money is probably another good thing that you want to make sure that you have is like cash and things of that nature. Um, just because of we don't really know where the situation is going and who knows what's going to be worth what. And you want to make sure that you also do have things to barter with because there could come a time where bartering and money are going to have a um, reverse reaction to each other. So one will be a little bit worthless and the other one will be worth its weight in gold. 
It just depends on the situation and it depends on what takes place in the future because we just don't know. So this Ukraine crisis that we're going through, what it really means is that we have to pay attention to what takes place in the coming weeks and months. We have to really plan for the worst, hope for the best, and this way here, we're covered all the way around. You have to stop um, dwelling on the facts of people that you talk to and people you try to convince to prep and everything else that, you know, they need to be doing this and, you know, and keep hounding them and hounding them because like one person did comment in my video the other day that, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And I have used that saying quite a few times. And that is so true. All right. That saying has been around for a very long time. It is what it is. Uh, it's very self-explanatory. It's very right to the point, And it does tell you exactly what this crisis means to us. You can prepare or not. You can lead that horse to water, but you can't make them drink. What this means, folks, is there's so much stuff that is uncertain about this whole Ukraine crisis. What to believe, what not to believe. What is going to happen? We don't know. What the future holds? We don't know. When is this going to end? We don't know. We do know that we need to start prepping and preparing now. Hopefully you've already been doing that and you're topping off your preps as I'm speaking. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope that you all understand what it means in this Ukraine crisis. And what it means is you have to be prepped and ready because we don't know what to believe. We don't know what's gonna happen. And we don't know when it's going to end. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Keep your head above that water. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.